Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wang. Here is the question. What is the value of sine of 1 plus sine of 2 plus until plus sine of n? We are going to use the method called telescopic canceling to solve this question. This is the formula we are going to use. The product to sum formula, sine of the first angle times sine of second angle equals one half times cosine of the first angle minus the second angle, minus cosine of the first angle plus the second angle. This is a given expression. Each term, that's a single sign. How to apply this formula? We can do this. For any k, k is a positive integer. Sign of k, we can put sign of 1 half next to sign of k, then divide by sign of 1 half to make the balance. 1 over sine of 1 half equals cosecant of 1 half. The numerate equals sine of k times sine of 1 half. Now we can apply this formula. Equals 1 half, we can put the 1 half in front. The inside part is cosine of the first angle minus the second angle minus cosine of the first angle plus the second angle. Continue to simplify this part. It is cosine of 2k minus 1 divided by 2 minus cosine of 2k plus 1 over 2. Now we are ready to apply this result. Every term for k equals one, two, three, until n, we have the first part. One half times cosecant of one half. We can factor this part out here. The inside part, k starts from one. 2 times 1, that's 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. That's 1 half. Here is 2 halves. For well, that sine of 2, that's cosine of 3 halves minus cosine of 5 halves. Continue to work out all the terms. We have this. What is this? We call it telescopic canceling. What does this mean? Look at the first part and the second part. This one is negative, this one is positive. Both can be canceled out. And look at this one. Negative cosine of 5 over 2, positive cosine of 5 over 2 are canceled out. Similarly, cancel this one, cancel this one. Only thing left are cosine of one half minus cosine of two n plus one over two. Only two terms are left. The first one, the last one. Last one with the negative sign. Therefore, the final answer is one half times cosecant of one half, then times cosine of one half, minus cosine of 2n plus 1 over 2. This is the answer. That's all. Thanks for watching and see you next time.